All right, fifth grade for our fourth math lesson this week. We're going to be working with fractions and sewing. It's very important that you understand how to add fractions together if you're going to be working on a sewing project. So look at your toucan fraction number 26. And let's look at this t-chart together. Here we have the style, whether you're making a skirt or a top. Here we have the fabric width, either 45 inches or 60 inches. And here we have the size, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16, and how many yards of fabric we're going to need for that size. So our first question asks us, how much 60 inch fabric for a size 10 skirt and a size 8 top? So let's look at the t-chart. 60 inch fabric for a skirt. For what size skirt? Size 10 skirt. So I go to where 10 and 60 intercede or intercept and I've got one and a half. Let's write that down. One and one half. Okay, so that's a size 10 skirt. Now let's go to the size 8 top. Top, 60 inch, 8. And where do they intersect? It's also one and a half yards of fabric. Let's write that down. All right, let's add those together. One and a half plus one and a half. Do I need to change the denominator? No, I don't, because they both have a denominator of 2. So I can get right into adding. Denominator is going to stay as a 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I have 2 and 2 halves. All right, now I need to simplify. I can simplify by going into the division box. Which number should go into the box? 2 does. Which number should go out? 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 subtract 2 is 0. So I have one remainder 0. Which means when I have two twos or two halves that makes a whole. Just like what we learned at the beginning of this fraction unit. So I take that one hole and add it to the two holes I already have, and I get 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 what? What should my label be? Hey, remember I said this is key over here. 3 yards, which I can represent by Y, D, S. So how much fabric would you need to make a size 10 skirt and a size 8 top? You would need 3 yards of fabric. Let's do that one more time. All right, for this next example, let's look at number 5. How much 45-inch fabric for a size 10 top and size 12 skirt? I forgot to mention that before. These little symbols over here, the two little quote marks, that means inch. Okay, so now we're looking for 45 inch fabric. Got it. Size 10, top. So let's go to top, 45 inch, size 10. Where does that intersect? 1 and 5 eighths. Let's write that down. 1 and 5 eighths. All right, and now a size 12 skirt. So 45 inch fabric for skirt, size 12. Where does that intersect? Take your fingers together. Two and a half. Let's write that down. Two and one half. All right, now I can add those together. What I need to do is I need to get a common denominator. So look at your tens charts and ask yourself, what's a common denominator between 8 
and two. Very good, it's gonna be eight. So let's rewrite the problem. Addition sign equals bar. Because I found a common denominator of eight, I don't need to change one and five eighths. I can just rewrite it. I do need to change two and a half. Well, how do you change a two into an eight? Very good, two times four. Two times four is eight. Whatever I do to the bottom, I gotta do to the top. One times four. One times four is four. Good job. Two holes stays the same. Now I can add the two together. Five eighths plus four eighths gets me nine eighths. Two plus one gets me three. Three and nine eighths, and uh oh, you can see it's not going to work because nine is bigger than eight. Now, instead of writing out the division, let's try to do it using mental math this time. What's eight? divided by, I'm sorry, what's 9 divided by 8? Well, you know that only one 8 can fit inside of 9. So that's going to be one whole that I need to add to the 3. What's 3 plus 1? Well, that's going to be 4. My denominator is still going to be 8. Well, just ask yourself, what's 9 subtract 8? That's going to be 1. 4 and an eighth. We just did that using mental math. 3 and 9 eighths gets converted to be 4 and 1 eighths. Well, what's my label? It's still the same as what it was on the first example. Yards. So let's write 4 and 1 eighths. Y, D, S. That's how much fabric I'd need four and an eighth yards. All right, put that into practice today on Toucan Fraction number 22.